now we are going to see about ehcp ehcp means easy hosting control panel this is an open source control panel which is used to create email accounts ftp accounts subdomains and also to host any websites main features are server backup and restore then password protected and email forwarding auto reply script installation and so on now let me see about the installation of ehcp now we are going to download the installation package a star file for that we are using the wget command to download from the link the link is here we can paste it here and giving enter now the package is downloading the downloading completed you can see here the downloaded file the tar file is here now I'm going to extract the tar file tar iPhone is it xvf and the tar file now the file is extracted I am listing the file. You can see the extracted file ehcp. Now I am entering into ehcp. Now I am going to run the installation script for that dot print slash and the script install dot sh. Now I am giving enter. This is the first stage. Give the enter button to continue. Now I am giving enter and again it asks for enter to continue. This shows that is the outline of installation process is listed here. That is it installs php command line version first that is pre-installer and then it runs install 1.php and install 2.php. This is used to install the related softwares like MySQL, Apache, Nginx and so on. Now I am giving enter to continue. Now the installation is continuing. Here you can see EHCP main installer so that the pre-installer installation is completed and next is main installer installation is going to continue now i am giving enter the next is ehcp install input settings section you can see notes here that this section is very important for your ehcp security and password settings so you have to enter all those fields carefully first it asks for your name I am giving the name and press enter and the next is enter your email id now I am giving enter and this it asks for mysql root password and the default password is here you can also give the same password or enter new password i'm giving the password now and next it asks for enter ehcpl panel admin password here also i'm giving the same default password it asks for password confirmation I'm giving enter and next it it asks that the host name is Linux help that you enter previous if it is different you have to enter it else you can leave it blank and press enter now I'm giving here local IP for testing purpose 
0.77 next it asks for a language supports by default the language is English so I'm just giving enter the next option is it asks for some additional softwares like FFmpeg this can be installed that your machine sees with high configurations that is high RAM speed or processing speed I'm giving no here and now the installation is going on now this window prompts you to select the database for round queue package so now I'm giving yes now here you have to select the database which you prefer I'm giving here my SQL now it asks for password I'm entering the password and press enter press the tab to select ok button and press enter and give the same password we have given just before and use the tab and ok enter now enter the password for database administrative user and give ok remember all those password that we entered previous because these passwords will be helpful in modifying and accessing databases and related services now select PHP my admin package database I'm giving enter and enter the password and give enter and again for password confirmation now enter the password for PHP my admin database and give ok and now you are going to select web server that is lightspeed or apache uh, you can move this option by up arrow and down arrow to select that option press spacebar now I am selecting apache 2 and press ok after entering the details for every step the installation continues now here it is asking for yes or no question this is for nginx so I am not preferred in nginx so I am giving no wherever it asks for nginx yes or no you have to give no if you are not interested now the services are starting now you can see here the installation is completed and you can access your panel using HTTP and the IP her mentioned now we can access the control panel EHCP in which IP the EHCP is configured the IP as we saw previous the IP is 192.168.5.77 now I am accessing through browser I mention your IP here and press enter you can see here click here for the control panel on your server click on this link and this brings you to the control panel and enter the username and password the default username and password is the username is admin and the password is 1234 and press login here you can see this is the main dashboard page here is consists of a basic and useful configurations like domain creation and FTP and MySQL databases and creating emails and managing 
by default it has curl mail and round cube inbuilt and at the top you can see here other operations and server status and options and server status shows the load of the server and this option shows the configuration of VHCP you can edit this configuration by this option edit or change options thank you